Hey guys, so um, today I had a lot of trouble kind of dealing with fear. Um, I was, well you'll see the clips of it and all that good stuff, but I had a, a lot of issues with doing this kind of stuff on my own, but I thought it was necessary. And like I said, you'll see like kind of how, how I reacted to it. It was a lot harder than I thought it would be. But I've always told you guys that the only way I can really force myself to do anything is by sheer will. <laughs> like I absolutely refuse to let myself down, you know, like... I only put up with my own bullshit for so long and then I just grin and bear it because if you never try you never know and if you never know then you're never going to get over your fear and if you're never going to get over your fear then you're stuck in the same place and so today I took a leap of faith and I know for a fact tomorrow I can go again and then I can go again and I can go again um, it's just that anticipation that you have to be like okay well, this was really freaking hard, but I got it done anyway. So, I'm going to do this thing, but I'm terrified. I have to cross, like, I think four or five lanes of traffic. And I'm trying to, like, calm myself down so I can do it. Um, there's a 24-hour fitness like right here uh, really close to my house and I'm kind of having a little bit of a breakdown um, so I'm kind of sitting at the bus stop thing like I'll show you guys like I have to get over there like over there and I'm absolutely fucking terrified to cross the road why did the Nirvana cross the road <laughs> uh, uh. So I made the decision today that um, it's getting really cold and it's starting to rain more and I can't use that as an excuse not to get workouts done. So um, I talked to my husband and him and I decided that, you know, I'm going to go join this place, which again is not really that super far from my house. It's a little bit of a walk, but it's not like super, super far. So I'm trying really hard not to just completely lose my shit. <laughs> And like act like a lunatic while I'm out here because I really want to go to the gym um, I'm in my gym meets uh, and I thought maybe talking to you guys would make me feel a little better I can technically drive Elisa's car down here but I wanted to see how long it would take me um, to walk and I wanted to see like what it would take for me to walk down here, like how, how many things it would take for me to, how many lanes of traffic and like what was near it and. I could do this, right? Like I can, I can do this. Like this is, this is something that I can do. You know, like being scared is okay. Being consumed by fear is is okay if you can pull your shit together i'm trying to talk to you guys in the mic like <laughs> i have tears in my eyes like i'm just trying so hard to like get up enough balls to to walk through this stuff in traffic Ugh. i think i have to walk across and then i have to hit another one to walk across the other side to get to where i need to go and <laughs> Of course, I don't bring any Ativan with me because I'm like, oh no, it's not going to be a big deal. Bitch, it's a big deal. <laughs> what I said the other day, I meant it. Like, you have to step out of your comfort zone if you ever want to get better, if you ever want to get healthier, if you ever want to regain your fucking life. And even though I've lost weight, like, the terror in my mind is still there. Like, uh, Walking um, where I have been walking hasn't been a big deal because it's all, I don't have to, um, 
cross any traffic so it's just kind of like a big square so it, I feel safe but right now I'm like fuck me I can I can do this you, I, I will do this I don't know how I'm gonna do this but I will, I will fucking do this oh my god I'm gonna have to do this <sighs> Yeah, I just thought I would kind of journey this, uh, put this out there for people who are terrified of everything like me. I was absolutely fucking mortified that I have to do this. It's baby steps, right? It's baby steps, baby steps. I walk down here, I, I do my workout, I sign up, I go home. And then the next hurdle would be using Elise's car to come down here on the days that I don't go early. So it's just, it's a matter of routine and it's a matter of, I just have to fucking do it. Right? Right? Are you guys picking up what I'm putting down? Like, are we on the same page? Because my ass is terrified and I have to do it anyway. Nope, 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 panic attack, nope, nope. Nope. dumb enough to hold a phone while I'm trying I'm going through traffic like that that'll make no damn sense so I will talk to you guys after I'm I've made it so if you guys don't see this footage it's probably because I'm dead and got hit by traffic all right I'll talk to you guys in a little bit wish me luck holy fucking shit I made it 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 holy shit holy shit holy shit I made it I made it people look at me like I've lost my damn mind but I have oh Oh my god. Okay, so I'm just holding my cane and just walking through this because I don't want to go around. Fuck me. That was terrifying. That was horrid. Okay. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. I'm going to do this. I'm going to go sign up and I'm going to go fucking work out and I'm going to do what I'm supposed to and that's what's going to happen. So, again, I will talk to you guys soon. Fuck. So I did a thing. I went and got a gym membership. And I'm about to go kick some cardio ass. So there will be pictures on the way. And I'll show you guys what I did today. And I'll talk to you soon. Wish me luck. fucking thing died right in the middle of my workout. It died right in the middle of my fucking workout. Really? <sighs> I had like 12 minutes and it died right in the middle of my workout. Oh my god, I'm so mad. I'm so mad. I'm so mad. I'm so mad. I'm so mad.